We want to thank all of our patrons. Every little bit really helps, and we really appreciate your support. Yeah, y'all are great. Well, that's nice. Makes it a bit easier. On our last episode, we started the process of hooking up the whale gusher foot pump. Figured out the design for the bracket. Cut the hole to recess the foot pump below the galley. And got to work. Okay, so I pre-gamed a little bit. Got some stuff sorted out under the galley sink. Got the hole drilled for the hose. And uh, now I'm hooking up all the stuff to the water tank up forward. Let's go check that out. Any of y'all that are boat owners understand this nightmare. Like everything from the V-Burf had to come out and go here. And then, you know, hopefully I don't need anything that's under there. Um, now let's go ahead and go forward and I'll show you what the uh, top of the water tank looks like. It's pretty grimy because, like I said, when we go to replace the fill hose, with the new one, um, that's when I'm going to pull everything out and clean it and uh, and do that whole part of this project. But right now, I just need to get water so we can uh, wash up and stuff on our trip. So um, let's go check this out. Okay, so in the V-Burf, this is our skanky setup. So this is this black hose is the uh, fill hose. The clear one is the brand new vent hose. Um, I got a clear one like that so when I'm filling up the tank, when the water gets into the vent, you know it's full. That's the only way to know if it's full or not. Um, I also have a leak somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere high. When I'm on a starboard tack, it leaks into the bilge, but mm, that's another day. Um, now we're going to go ahead and hook up. This is the adapter I made. This goes from three quarter inch which is the original fitting on the water tank to half inch which is the what mates with the um, whale gusher um, so there's just this little connector at this end and um, then we're gonna run the long hose which is like I don't remember 20 feet or something um, under the V berf through the uh, stowage locker and then under the um, the uh, starboard settee but first hook this up whenever whenever I'm hooking up hose clamps I prefer to use a ratchet you can get it a lot snugger that way since these aren't like uh, to through holes or below the water line we only need one and not two, um, but this, oh, son of a bitch. This hose is for a pressurized system, even though I don't think it's I don't think my system's considered pressurized since I'm not using a pump anymore. But um, it's always good to have the best hose you can get, you can, the best hose you can afford. Spent a hundred dollars at West Marine today on just a handful of things, which is easy to do. Okay, that's hooked up. Now we gotta do this crazy game of snake. Since there's stuff kind of everywhere, I'm going to be have to move stuff back and forth. Um, I think we'll start forward and feed it through that way. It might be easier to keep the bundle up there. Let's try it out. Okay, so here's our hose. Shields Marine Hose. I ordered this online because it's cheaper. I had been planning this, so I had time to wait for it to come in. I can't remember what the cost was. I think it was like $30 for 25 feet or something um, on Amazon. I'll put the actual price like on the screen right now. I know we have more than enough. And 
and uh, hopefully we have enough extra to do the bit from the whale gusher to the faucet. If not, I'll use some of the old hose and uh, replace that when I build out my new galley, which is coming up real soon. I just got my new sink, I'm very excited about it. So let's go ahead and start feeding this through the way it was fed through before. Now there's already holes drilled in the bulkheads for where the old hose was, so that's nice. Makes it a bit easier. This might get tricky with being by myself and trying to wrangle this thing. Okay, I think we've got it all run forward. So it goes in here, that's where our well gusher is going to be, and it runs under the settee, under the locker down there, under this stowage area, up that way. Now we're in the V-barf, comes in there, goes around. And that's where we're going to hook it up. But now we got to move all this stuff back over here to get over there so we can hook it up. Okay, so I've got all the hose run. I've gone ahead and pre-gamed my uh, hose clamps ready to go. As I mentioned, we got the whale gusher pulled back a bit. We're going to hook up the attachments here and then uh, screw it into place. I've marked a uh, black mark with Sharpie. This is where the hose sits comfortably and this is where it goes to the bulkhead. So. We don't want to cut past that because that's where it's happy inside there. So we're going to cut a bit here. We don't know exactly how much we need, so I'm going to overdo it. We, we can have slack up in there, but we definitely don't want to go sh past that black mark. So um, let's go ahead and get this hose cut and uh, get this bolted, uh, get these screwed on and uh, see if this thing works. Okay, so I primed it to make sure it had suction. Uh, this is the first time we're going to do it, so let's check it out. There we have it. Installed. Super stoked. So, that's pretty easy. I mean, it took all day. The sun's getting dark. I've been here since like 7 a.m. But, um, got it done. Pretty stoked. Um, so, there's another thing checked off the list. I'll show you guys more when we get into the real galley rebuild, which is about to come up. We're going to be replacing the sink and uh, undoing some of this, but using all the same parts to put it back together. Um, so that's a big project coming up. Uh, but I just want to throw this little video together for you guys so you can see how to hook up one of these whale galley gushers uh, And I highly advise them for controlling your water use Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and a comment. It helps me a lot in the algorithm um, We want to give a big thanks to all of our patrons. We really appreciate your support and uh, hope that this video helps somebody out there and uh, Let me know if you have any ideas or thoughts about it in the comments. Until next time, fair winds. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.